The Southeast Produce Council is celebrating 20 years, and a dynamic ensemble of produce players are currently meeting face-to-face -face for the organization's Southern Innovations Expo. It's all underway here in Nashville, Tennessee, and Chip Carter joins us with an update. Chip? Organic produce is one of the key focal points of Southern Innovations. For the last couple of decades, we've seen year-over-year -year growth in organics. Some are saying we're starting to reach a peak there. I'm with Anne Marie Rohrink. She's with 210 Analytics. Uh, she gave a presentation this morning about the continued, the future outlook for organics. Uh, Anne Marie, are, are we peaked? Have we hit a point? Can the market absorb any more organic produce? What's the future looking like for that category? So where this concern is coming from, Chip, is the fact that we have been seeing double-digit growth for so many years. Now the growth is at about four, four and a half, five percent. So a lot of people are like, "Hey, wait a minute, we, what is happening? Is this slowing down? Has organic come to a t tipping point?" Um, and looking at all the numbers, I would say absolutely not. Organic continues to be a shining star for the produce department. But what we have to keep in mind is kind of the relevance to organic in the total category. So all of produce has slowed down. Uh, people are finding produce in the frozen aisle. People are finding produce in beverages, in, in snacks, in center store. And so the sales of overall produce has slowed down. And organic with it, there's absolutely no doubt about it. But organic still makes up seven percent of total produce sales and yet drives 40 percent of all new dollars. So if there's any stat that shows the strength and really the shining stardom of, of organic within produce, I think it's that. And I think that dollar sign is certainly what would get people's attention. It's interesting that you would say as the what we would consider fresh, the actual produce department is slowing down a little bit. We're seeing almost it's like squeezing a garden hose. Yep. People aren't consuming less produce. They're just utilizing it in different ways. That's absolutely right. So if you look at some of those the refrigerated beverages, I mean, some of them actually say right on there, uh, this has four or five servings of produce in right. it. So what is easier than to drink your produce instead of just eating it? And it's absolutely affecting all of produce, including organic produce as well. Well, we've even seen items like bottled kombucha, the drink that is in the produce department now. Yep. Absolutely, and so we're seeing a lot of growth, kind of uh, the dollars going in different ways, and kombucha, smoothies, all of them are different uh, examples of just that. It's not the wave of the future anymore, it's the wave of now. Organics is on us. Back to you, Christina. Thank you, Chip, and be sure to stay tuned for more reports from Chip next week on your Market Day Report.